former Oklahoma receiver Charleston Rambo and now current Miami receiver has, has been out of the transfer portal for quite some time now, but I wanted to take some time to dive into his film and look at what he brings to the table and how he's going to help the entire offense at Miami, but also help King develop and take the next step as a quarterback and just help the, the quarterback room in, in general. We're going to watch uh, watch several things that he does well as a receiver and see that he's a, a very diverse receiver, does a lot of things well, um, and that Miami will be able to use him in King's style of play, and Miami's offensive scheme will be able to use what uh, Rambo brings to the table. I know Miami fans already saw a decent glimpse of him in the spring game. I think he had seven catches for 70, 75, 74 yards, I think to be exact, right, right around. Um, but I wanted to take some actual game footage uh, from Oklahoma so we can actually kind of break it down and see how he's going to um, fit in at, at the, uh, in the Miami offense and kind of get a, an idea of what he brings to the table. But before we dive into the actual film and before we talk about how he's going to make King a, a better quarterback overall, I want to encourage you to consider subscribing to our channel if you like any quarterback-related content, whether it's film breakdowns like this. It doesn't have to be quarterbacks, but it has to be related to the quarterback position somehow, or whether it's quarterback interviews, uh, quarterback competitions, how we assess quarterbacks in the weight room and screen them and how that can translate to the field. Enough of me talking. Um, let's dive into the actual film of um, Rambo, and then we'll kind of talk it about it on the back end. So here we have Charleston Rambo at the bottom of the screen uh, against U of H in 2018. We see we got press man here. The corner is making a yard, maybe a yard and a half off the line of scrimmage. And watch the ability to create space relatively quickly uh, on the slant here and then the speed to catch it and run with it. But we'll, we'll watch this a few times. Just watch the ability to create space to give his uh, quarterback an easier throw. Uh, King will love this. Let's go ahead and watch this play. Space, boom, look at that. Watch it again. Look how close they are in the space. Look how much space is created. Makes it for an easy throw and speed for the rest of the uh, play for the touchdown. We'll go ahead and watch the end zone angle as well so you can see him really pull away from the DBs of U of H. Again, a great addition uh, to Miami. Here comes the speed. Quick break tackle, pulls away. Touchdown. So here we got Rambo at the top of the screen here. And off coverage, the DB is eight-ish yards off the ball. So initially, pre-look, you're thinking, okay, maybe cover three or maybe potentially cover one man under with this uh, DB's playing off. Um, it's, it's one of the two, and then we see the safety switch. So safe to safety is going to bail this way, the snap of the ball. But we're going to see Rambo's ability to beat uh, off coverage, eight or nine yards, uh, runs a deep post for a touchdown, gets the DB kind of twisted around here. Uh, so regardless what the coverage actually really is, it's an example of Rambo being able to beat off coverage. So we've seen him beat uh, multiple different coverages so far. Let's go ahead and watch this clip. We'll just watch this angle too. A lot of separation. Good ball. Let's go watch one more time. Again, eight, nine yards. Watch the DB up here. Yeah, it's man. Good ball. Touchdown. So here we have Rambo at the top of the screen here, uh, off coverage uh, of the DB. He's going to be running kind of an in route here, but don't focus on that. We're going to see Hurts scramble and then come back. So the point of, of, of this video is Rambo's ability to work with the quarterback, go off script, and, and just kind of get open and play back backyard football. And then, of course, the speed takes over once he catches it. Let's go ahead and watch this play. Especially with a quarterback like King. Here comes Rambo over here, who is athletic, who can buy time with his legs. Uh, it's important to have this ability. Let's go ahead and watch one more time. As far as the hair, but more. Here he is right here. Watch him work with Hertz. Comes back to Hertz to the left, then goes to the right. Or if you're the, the defense is right at least, and then catches it and go. Uh, we'll watch the other angle as well. But again, for a, a quarterback like King, who is able to, who is mobile and able to uh, make plays outside the pocket and downfield, you want a receiver who's on the same page able to do that. Very encouraging for King and Miami fans. His Rambo right here goes. Watch his eyes. Good ball by Hurts, too. Then catches it and is off to the races. Touchdown. So here we have Rambo coming in motion over here. And he's going to initially kind of run a inish route here, I believe. 
Um, but the point of this video is, again, to reiterate the fact that he is good when the quarterback is on the run, on the move. He sees where the green space is and goes to it. So this is something that King will absolutely love, having a receiver that is naturally good at this, especially with King being able to run, like we mentioned earlier. Let's go ahead and watch. Again, here's Rambo right here. <clears throat> we'll watch it full. In or out, and then watch him come back here. Finds grass. I think it's a penalty, and it ends up coming back, but but the point of the play remains the same. Let's go ahead and watch it one more time. What goes in? Boom. Sees hurt scramble. Goes to the side. Eyes link up. Good catch down there. Let's go ahead and watch the other angle as well. Right there. Let's see if we can skip past this flag part. Here we go. There's Rambo coming in motion. And then you'll be able to see Rambo come open when Hertz rolls out. Uh, maybe not. Well, good catch there. So here we have Rambo lined up in the slot position. And we're going to see him come in motion. It's man. Uh, so they kind of just do bump. And this linebacker will take him. But it's a great example of Rambo making a catch in uh, tight coverage and a, just a congested catch in general, going up and get the ball. Um, a, a, another addition that he has as a receiver and something that King will be able to use um, throughout the season. Let's go ahead and watch. We'll watch multiple times. Let's watch him go over, get it, make a good adjustment. Good catch there, especially in tight coverage. There he is right here. Adjust the ball, stays in bounds. Good catch there. Just another great example of the overall skills that Rambo has and that he will be able to use, and they'll be beneficial to King as a quarterback and will just help his overall development. Watch this catch. Great adjustment there. So here we have Rambo lined up in the slot right here. And this is this play kind of entails everything he does well as a receiver. He's able to uh, beat coverage, runs just kind of a deep seam slash deep post route. Uh, Hertz is able to throw it to space. He catches it and catches it in traffic, actually takes a hit, uh, stays up, and then shows his impressive speed and what he can do after the catch. Um, so let's just go ahead and watch it first, and then we will uh, watch it one more time. Here he is here. So watch him take a hit, catches it, hit, gets back up. Then his yards after the catch ability to get inside the 15. Let's watch it one more time. Speed to beat. And then watch him. So he catches it, takes that hit right there. That's impressive itself. Keeps going and shows the ability of yards after the catch. Kind of entails every all his good qualities in one play. So we saw a lot of good things from film that I think is going to be very applicable to Miami's offense and what King does as a quarterback. Uh, first and foremost, we saw Rambo be able to beat multiple types of defenses, whether it's off man, whether it is um, whether it's press man, and they're one one and a half yards off the line of scrimmage. We saw him create space uh, in both situations. We saw him in several examples do a good job of when the quarterback scrambles, being on the same page as the quarterback, finding green space and running to where the quarterback can't see him and throw him throw it to him. And then we saw him making catch, making a, a congested catch and going up and get the ball while keeping his feet in bounds. So a lot of different things that we saw uh, that he brings the table that should be able to fit extremely nice in Miami's offense and help the quarterback just develop overall. Really excited for Charleston Rambo and to see the effect that he has on the Miami's offense and then the quarterbacks in general, especially, you know, King uh, in 2021. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, let us know what you want uh, and how we can continue to get better. I also want to hear from you. Uh, there, there's still a lot of really good receivers left in the transfer portal as quarterbacks, but there are more receivers right now that are uncommitted. So who do you think is the best receiver in the transfer portal and where do you think they should go? And if you have any quarterback um, two cents as well, throw it in there. And we'll see you next time on our next quarterback-related video.